This is Puerto Rican Panorama, a program that explores the challenging issues, cultural diversity, and multinational heritage of the Delaware Valley Latino community. And now, here is your host, Diego Castellanos. It is no secret that uh, mortgage uh, foreclosures have been a serious, serious problem, and it is no secret that most of the people affected by these uh, uh, problems are poor people, and there's no secret that most of the poor are either Hispanic or African American. Uh, We have two gentlemen here who will give you information that could be of help to you if you think you might be faced with mortgage foreclosure. My guests are Diego Tapia, he's from an agency called SEVA, and next to him is Albert Stewart from Centro Pedro Claver. Real quick, in 10 seconds or less, (laughs) SEVA. Explain SEVA, what is SEVA? Well, SEVA is a coalition of Latino uh, of Latino community organizations. Uh, we are in the Latin community, of course, and we help uh, people in our community with different problems. In this case, with uh, housing council, we provide housing counseling, okay. and we do well several other Centro programs. Pedro Claver. Centro Pedro Claver is also a member of SEBA, one of the member organizations, and we do a variety of services in the community in North Philadelphia as well. Explain for me foreclosure. Well, foreclosure is the legal act or the legal process by which a home may be sold uh, because or um, because an unpaid debt. Usually, this debt uh, may uh, it's the home mortgage, or it can be the foreclosure also can be uh, because of unpaid uh, unproper- property taxes and even unpaid uh, utility bills. Be- oh, really? Uh, basically, they, they foreclose your mortgage, but it, it can happen because you don't, you're behind on mortgage payments, but also because you may be behind in utility bills? Yes, in uh, utility bills. That's a new one for me. Yeah. Well, nowadays, um, in the old days, you know, your utility bills would go unpaid. Nowadays, people... Uh, I thought they would just shut it off. Yeah, they just shut it off. But now they go to court and they get judgments against you. And those judgments turn into liens against your property. So if you have enough liens against your property, you can lose the house because of that. Uh, property tax, they're doing yeah. the same thing. They never used to collect property tax, um, you know, formally, um, or foreclose on your house. But now, there's a, in the last couple of years... They've mm-hmm. been doing that. So uh, they take so your house from you. Yeah. What do they do with it? Well, they'll take it to a sheriff's sale. Uh, the sheriff will put your house up for sale, and the highest bidder will get your house. Um, hopefully, that will be um, enough uh, to cover the cost of your mortgage. But sometimes, if it's not enough, there's also a deficiency judgment that can be. Uh, oh. So the between the, what you owe and what they sell the house for, if there's anything left over, then income tax can tax you for that, or the mortgage <laughs> the lender yeah. will come after you. So yeah, money. yeah. So even after you lose your home, you're still not out of the woods <laughs> altogether. Of the woods. Yeah. What if the opposite happens? They sell your house and there's money left over. Does that come to you? Yeah. To the homeowner. Yeah, and and you should always, if if that happens when they sell your house, you should always pay attention. To, to what they sold it for, ask the, the the sheriff to tell you what they sold it for, because there if there's an overage, then it goes to you, the the mm-hmm. homeowner. <clears throat> if you have no place to go, they, you know if if when they threaten to sell your house, you have a family, and you have no place to go, does someone take care of you and your family, or are you out on the street? Well. Uh, and, uh, you know, Diego may have more experience with that than, than myself. Yeah, probably you're just on the street. There is, uh, you know, you lose your house, you can probably ask for help to your, for, uh, your you know, Hopefully friends, you family, family yeah, that they can help you. you. Yeah, but, um, you know, you don't have to wait until that, that, that happens because there are uh, housing council agencies like Centro Pedro or, or the other uh, 
the agency, the agency is uh, from SEBA, the North East Square Civic Association, uh, Concilio, we have also um, Esperanza, then they have uh, housing councillors that can help you to avoid the, the, the foreclosure. So there is, uh, you know, if your home is in foreclosure, it doesn't mean that you already lose your house. There is still ways to, you know, to, to save your home. Um, and now uh, you can also call to the Save uh, Your Home Philly uh, line. The telephone number is 215-334-4663. Then they are going to refer you to an uh, experienced housing counselor. They are going to help you to, you know, to explain the options. Uh, to expo they explain um, the, possi the possible uh, solutions uh, to your problem. And also they can help you to apply for a uh, Home mortgage uh, assistance programs. Mm. So, you know, and there it's is not the end of the world. You know, um, you know, some people think that you know, the, the American dream you're supposed to own your home, and when the foreclosure happens, there, there's a whole sense of shame that goes with it, it's a whole sense of, of failure. But it's not the end of the world. And, you know, if you come into an agency like ours, we'll, we'll not only give you, uh, try and save your home, but if in the event that you have to sell your home, we'll assist you in doing that and not losing money. Isn't the city uh, of Philadelphia doing anything about this? This is a serious problem. Well, they are. They're, they're trying to, and we're kind of a leader in this, that we're trying to stop uh, some of the share of sales from happening. Um, and the Save Your Home Philly hotline is part of that. Okay. Um, we're trying to stop the, uh, the high number of sheriff sales from from happening. And I have something about foreclosure diversion. Exactly. That's what is that? That is um, a program where the homeowner and the lender now have been court mandated to come together and try and work something out, rather than letting the house go to sheriff sale. Um, so before it's like a last ditch effort before you've gone through all of these foreclosure procedures and you've gotten to the point where you're at a sheriff's sale, when Philly's saying, well, let's stop that uh, before you, your house is sold. Let's try and work it out one more time. Okay. Um, so they come to an agency like mine. It's like a mediation. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. The good thing is that well, the, now the sheriff's sale, there were on, the houses there were on the sheriff's sale list on April, May, June, and July were postponed before to the this uh, court hearing so people is uh, the people they they have the they have the houses on the sheriff's sale list they are receiving letters and these letters uh, is uh, telling they let them know the you know the 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 sheriff's sale was postponed and they have to go immediately to a uh, housing counselor to get uh, the help so they can so go to the court and present yeah. so the, so the case yeah. Unfortunately, Diego, we don't have uh, enough time left on the on, on the segment to to tell the viewers in in detail what to do. But but the one thing I keep on hearing from the both of you is see a housing counselor. Yes. And all these agencies that uh, that belong to SEVA are part of the, the SEVA coalition. They all have housing counselors, and, and the. And we don't have enough time <coughs> to give the the addresses and the telephone numbers. But what are some of the agencies? Concilio is one of them. Concilio. Pedro Claver. Centro Pedro Claver. Esperanza. Esperanza. Y North Square. Square. Okay. Sí, All of sí. those agencies are in the you know in the Latin community, so it's, uh, most of the people know who where where yeah. those right. organizations are. Uh, and I want to give that uh, that hotline one more time. You say it's called Save Your Home. Save Your Home, Philly. And, and what is the hotline? It's 215-334-HOME or 4663. Oh. Oh, uh, 4663 is probably... Spells home, yeah. Okay, well, that's a good <laughs> it's clever. Yeah, well, that's, that's a good way to remember. Uh, listen, I thank you very much, you know, for what you're doing uh, with our community. And uh, those of you at home who, who even suspect that, you know, this could be in the horizon, uh, seek, seek counsel before it happens to you. Uh, thanks again. Uh, don't go away, because we'll be back with Latin music in just a couple minutes.